Hello. Boy, it's a stormy day today. My goodness. It's not even the worst right now. It's actually just kind of chill. Like, it keeps going in like waves of just like drenching, which makes the house super dark sometimes, which I hate. <laughs> but it, it is what it is. <laughs> So I end up turning on like all these freaking lights. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, it, it's weird though, cause it's early in the day, but it feels like it's like five o'clock in the evening. It's very strange. <laughs> Anyways, I just felt like randomly vlogging that. Except my little rhinestones station set under here. I'm hoping to rhinestone today, but I'm also doing laundry. Yay! I don't know when this vlog's going up. I guess maybe Friday. Because I still have to edit the vlog from hanging out with Salika, which would be up by now once you see this. But yeah, it was a fun, it was a fun vlog. I split my weekend into two vlogs because it was just two, you know, separate things that worked into vlogs. So yeah. Anyways. I'm doing laundry, I'm rhinestoning, I have to edit, that's what my day is going to be filled with today. <laughs> uh, I'm not motivated to do anything today. It's very frustrating. I literally put my computer or the iPad over by my little rhinestone station, which by the way, I rarely get to use that table to rhinestone because once my dad's home, this is like his space, so like I want to make sure he has a space after work. So it's like I rarely get a chance to use that table, right? And here I am like really struggle with motivation. Plus I'm also doing laundry and laundry. I don't know what it is about laundry. I don't even have that much laundry, but it stresses me out and it takes the entire day for me. Like it's, it doesn't in the, I'm speaking of Alexa stop but today I had to do two different loads because there's like things that are like purely white that I don't want to mix with color so I'm like <sighs> but yeah when I do laundry I feel like I can't I can't do anything else it's, it's quite annoying to be honest it really is it's very annoying because I just feel like it takes up so much of my time. And see, one of the big things with me is I have to hang up all my clothes. Like, pretty much everything has to be hung up. Because, well, I mean, there are things that I make exceptions for, like socks and, and like, pajama pants that are, like, nice and baggy. Like, I can dry those. But when it comes to anything else literally anything else i have to hang it up because i don't want one pictures to fade i don't want them to get too small for me <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna take care of this now see in a bit maybe i wish more than anything more than life more than riches i wish i wish people would clean the screen Leaving it there seems obscene. It's really not that hard. I have to put all my stuff on this tiny little thing. It's really difficult. I end up having to just hang things up around places to like actually pull it off okay. I, need, I My mom has one of these like that are like a lot bigger. Oh god, don't collapse on me. I need you. <laughs> a lot bigger. Um, <clears throat> It's like a, probably like here or something and it's and it's wooden and we I used to use it all the time and even that would like fill up really easily so I forgot real creative with this one right now I'm just doing my white so we'll see <laughs> so because I want to be able to use this for all the other clothes that are washing right now which still won't be enough space I decided to put all the white stuff just around <laughs> I hope it works okay because these are all like cosplay things that I was gonna try to do. These are kind of cool though. I found these at Value Village with Salika and I've been wanting white jeans for a long time so I might actually use these more but the other stuff is mainly for cosplay things so I'm not like too worried about it. You know, 
I just didn't want it to shrink, so I hung it up instead. Today is not my day. And I need to just remember and remind myself that that's okay. I don't know, I just, I suddenly got into this funk and a lot of times I feel like it goes hand in hand with laundry. Like I have this whole thing where one day laundry's just like, no problem. And the other day I'm just like, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, the oven's ready. Let me go put my big old bites in. Okay, I'm back. Um, But yeah, like I feel so tired today. And unfortunately, I will have to say that sometimes it does go hand in hand with rain. When we have like stormy, rainy days, it tends to like affect people massively. And I live in the Seattle area, so we literally have like, our, our seasons are rain until summer. And even then there's some rain here and there, which is great during the summer because it's hot weather. <laughs> Not a oh, lot for us. like. The 70s are the best, I think. Um, but there's also like 80s and 90s. So, but anyways, so I feel like our we have three seasons of rain and one season of su mostly sun, but like not necessarily always sun. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> anyways, so like there are some days where the rain affects me more than others. Some days I'm just like, rain, I love it. And other days I'm just like, I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> At least I think it stopped a little bit. But anyway, so I was going to rhinestone, but I have decided, probably for my own mental health, to not do that today. <laughs> I mean, so I really want to get things done because Jessalyn Sewell put up another rhinestone competition immediately. Like, go her and everything, but like, shh. I wanted a break before the next one. I love rhinestoning, don't get me wrong, but I was grinding every day and night rhinestoning to get those entries in. Didn't necessarily win either. I did get that special like staff recognition award, which was really cool. Um, but like when I saw almost like the next day or just a couple of days later that there was another rhinestone competition I only had until February 12th to finish. I'm just like, my brain is not in the right space for this right now. I'm going to try to do what I can, but like there's no way I'm going to be able to enter nearly as many things as I entered in the last one. And I'm not going to lie, that's really frustrating to me because... I was just so in the zone. I was like, I, got, I just pumped it out, got it done. The shirt took a while, but the rest were like, not that hard. And some of them were already done. So that kind of probably helps a lot too, now that I think about it. I do have one thing kind of like that where I had to put a couple of finishing touches on it, but it was pretty much almost done anyways. So I want to talk about my emotional side of this, but I'm worried it's going to become too long if I do. I decided to allow myself to have a second cup of coffee today because I'm very tired. And honestly, that's technically really my fault because last night I stayed up really late watching Dance Moms. And I watched two episodes when I probably could have been fine with just watching one. And then it took me a while to get to sleep. Because I was awake. <laughs> Anyways, so I know it was my fault, but I also am telling myself, hey, like, there's going to be a time in my life when I go back to the regular grind of working, working, and working. So I told myself I should not, I should not be ashamed of taking this time and embracing it and staying up late when I want to, sleeping in when I want to, because there's gonna be a time where I won't really be able to do that again. Or at least like, I only have a couple days in the week where I can do it. And I'm really trying to embrace that, even though like I have my therapist and my doctor saying, you should try to get to sleep earlier. But I'm like, why? Like, I get it, like we're talking about it because that's like the time that's the most restful. Apparently you get the most sleep during that time or like you get the deepest sleep during that time. 
but I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's more of a social norm. Like, oh, you should get to bed by this time because that's what society, you know, has taught us is the right thing to do. Sometimes I feel like it is just that, I know here I'm getting all dramatic and like social norms known, but there really shouldn't be any shame in it. Thing is, I've been setting alarms and maybe the problem I really have is that I'm not letting myself like wake up naturally. I feel when it comes to go back to the rhinestone competition, I'm really stressed because I feel the career that I want to have in the future with like involving acting and stuff, I really feel like I should be well versed in the idea of starting something right away again. And I just can't really wrap my head around the fact that I was so into the first rhinestone competition, but this one came up too fast and now I'm like, nope, I need a break. But then I'm like, in life, a lot of times, especially with what I wanted to focus on in the future, you don't get breaks. You rarely get breaks and you need to be able to handle it. So I have a part of my brain, my anxiety that's like, how dare you not try to persevere and just get these things done? Because if you want to ever amount to anything in in the future, you need to be willing to not take a break for a while. And yeah, that thought's ringing around in my head right now. And it doesn't help me because it makes it makes things worse. It makes me feel worse about myself. It makes me feel worse about today. And I'm trying really hard to just be like, bitch, get out of my head. Okay. It is human to take a break and sure maybe I'm used to more breaks than most people but I don't know because I'm used to it that's why I don't know I really don't know how to put this into words but I just feel a little stressed out that I won't really be able to pursue anything I really want to do because I don't have that perseverance or that motivation and that's just always been something I struggled with I'm working through that that's why I'm going to therapy for anxiety, so let's hope that I can figure it out. <laughs> I'm trying to leave it on more of a positive note of just like, hey, take a step back. It's okay. It is okay. You don't have to have a million entries for this next rhinestone competition. You don't have to make that a parallel to your life <laughs> in the sense of, oh, if I can't do this, then how can I do that? Yeah, you don't need to do that. No, you don't. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching this. This is a very weird vlog. I'll probably stop here because this got really long. So thank you. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.